Hello again, this is my tutorial 14. What you are looking at now is my 2D drawing and solid model in paper space. The first thing I'll do is erase both the large and small viewports. You can see that the drawings disappear from paper space. All that remains are two rectangles which I drew previously to serve as templates for when I redraw the viewports later on. To get into model space, I'll click the model button. Notice that the drawings still exist in model space even though they were erased in paper space. Now, however, I'll split the screen in model space into two viewports so that there will be room to redraw the 2D and solid model. I created the two viewports so that you can see both drawings and better understand the 2D part that I'm going to draw. Also know that all dimensions will be in inches. Now I'll create the 2D drawing that I will convert into a solid. The first thing I'll do is pick a point on the screen and draw the two inch circle. And then I'll snap to the center of that circle and draw the one inch diameter circle so that the circles will be concentric. Then I'm going to draw a line from the quadrant here to the quadrant there. And I will break and trim so as to get rid of this portion of the line. And then I'll place center lines inside the circles. And using the offset command set at uh, 0.625, I'll create that line there and I'll reuse the offset command, set it at 0.125 and draw a line there and there. And then I'll break this inner circle with the first point here and there. And using a fillet radius, I'll clean up that area there. The fillet radius should be set to zero. And now I'll break the circle go, going counterclockwise uh, Having broken the circles, I will now extend the arcs back to the line. So I'm going to type EX, enter, select that line that and then ex extend the arcs so they touch the line again. And then I want to move the upper segment a little bit higher. And you can see what has been accomplished here. My purpose now is to create a polyline out of the upper segment and a polyline out of the lower segment. And so what I'm going to do is use the PE polyline edit command. I select a line. It allows me to convert it into a polyline and then join all the lines together. So that now the lines are indeed one continuous polyline and I'll use the same procedure on the bottom. Using the drawings just completed, I'll create the solid, but first I'll create a new layer, call it solid, and make it current. And then using, I'll select the drawing, and using the properties, I'll put it on layer solid. and then convert the drawing to the southeast isometric view. Next I want to extrude the upper portion on the right a distance of 0.63 and I'm going to extrude the lower portion on the left a distance of 1.38. Then I want to move the upper one from this point and connect it to the lower portion like that 
and with AutoCAD's Union command, select both of them so that they become one part. Also, using the Modify 3D Operation 3D Rotate command, I'm going to select the object and then place uh, the axis in the center somewhere. Select the red ribbon and type 90. So, and then add some shading to the drawing to see what it looks like. At this point, I'll go back to one viewport and see the entire drawing in model space. And then move into the plan or top view. Having finished the 2D and solid model, I want to get back to paper space to view the drawings properly and make the drawing ready for printing, so I'll click on the Layout 1 button. As you can see, my template rectangles are still there. Now to create the two viewports, I'll use the M view command and select two diagonal intersections to create the larger and smaller viewports. I'll click Double click inside the smaller viewport, switch to southeast isometric view, and then pan and zoom to enlarge the solid model. And then to get back into paper space, double click outside the small viewport. You must remember that when using paper space, the entire drawing should be printed at a scale of 1 to 1, even though individual viewports can be set to different scales. You can set the scale of the large viewport by selecting it and clicking the Properties button. The standard scale is found under Miscellaneous. That is where you set a scale for a viewport. In this case, I set a scale of 1 to 1. Once the scale is set, you double click inside the large viewport to gain access and pan so that only the 2D drawing is visible. To accomplish this, it is sometimes necessary to move the solid. Now double click outside the viewport to get back into paper space. Finally, if we don't want the large and small viewports to be printed, we can go to the Layer dialog box and freeze the Layer viewports, which is where the viewports are located. The drawing is now complete. If you enjoyed this tutorial and want more, please comment on this video as I enjoy hearing from you. Thank you for watching.